what is up guys x miles 5 here with another reaction video and today we are going to be reacting to another one of my old videos and it's titled the history of playing call of duty and i thought because my last reaction video i reacted to i don't i think it was a video of us playing call of duty zombies so i thought it'd be a good follow-up to watch a video of the history of playing Call of Duty, it's an old video, it was made back in June 4th of 2017, so that would be a good follow up to what we were talking about last time, and it has to do with Call of Duty, so, so let's go ahead and get into it, let's not waste any time, because I'm trying to get through this whole video, and not make this video too long, also if you haven't seen my last video, go ahead and check it out, it's a banger, I think it's it's great, like honestly, it's really really, really entertaining, so go ahead and check that out guys. But let's go ahead and start watching the history of playing Call of Duty. Here we go. Okay, what's up, guys? It's Expert Miles. Your haircut, by the way. And back at it again with another Air. video. Soon. By the way, the coronavirus, man, that's why. I'm not gonna say that again. Dude, this dude's gonna get so many chicks in the future. Man, you don't even know. Okay, that's not the point. I'm not gonna say anything else. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. You know. Because that, that's just a bad thing. I'm not gonna say back at it again, again. I, Okay, you get it, you get you get it, right? So, um, I'm going to tell you about the origins about me playing Black Ops. You guys probably already know this, that, um, I, basically my whole channel is Black Ops Zombies, Zombies, but really Black Ops, no, not Black Ops, sorry guys, I meant Call of Duty, in gen just in general. Yeah, um, it is. And it's cool to see this because it kind of is today as well. Obviously, I'm not just doing Black Ops, but it's kind of cool to see that I started my channel off with Black Ops Zombies and just Black Ops or Call of Duty in general. So it's cool to go back and see where my roots were, you know? It's, it's just basically my whole channel. So I'm just going to go ahead and talk about Also, guys, sorry if the I audio is horrible. Like, I, ne I never spoke up on any of these videos at all. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'll maybe I'll if some something arises, I'll be an interpreter for you guys. So here we go. Started. So here you go. Whenever I was about five, six, yeah, let's just say six. Um, my parent, my dad, rented uh, Call of Duty Black Ops from the. Yeah, um, I'm gonna skip through this uh, because you guys probably can't hear this very well, but I'm just gonna go ahead and reiterate what I'm saying. Uh, back when, I, like I said, I was in probably five around that area, probably less, no, probably, no, actually not less, but probably, I don't know, six, seven, I don't know, it doesn't matter, but I remember my dad, when, when Redbox was popular, um, he went and rented Black Ops 1, and I wasn't allowed to play it for some reason, but I remember watching my brother play Black Ops Zombies, Keynote of Totem to be exact, that's because I always remember that. And I remember vivid or yeah, vividly that yeah, I wasn't allowed to play it, but for some reason I was allowed to watch it, but I wasn't allowed to play it. We had to have the voice volume off so I didn't uh you know, I didn't hear get to hear the quotes because they cussed and stuff, so my parents didn't want to yeah at the time, but um but I remember vividly in the middle of the night, waking up and going to our TV, it used to be in the living room, and playing Kino, and as five or whatever, how old I was, at that age, playing Kino, that's like, that's scary, dude, that, that map is really creepy, and at that age, like, it was hard, and I remember having the voice volume, I thought I was such a gangster, gangster, because I had the uh, voice volume on when I wasn't allowed to, but, uh, yeah, it was pretty fun. Uh, that's why Kino is my favorite map, because it's kind of nostalgic to me, because that's, that's what started my whole gaming career, I guess you can call it. That's the game that really got me started and made me get into video games. Sorry if I'm not making a lot of sense. It's, it's uh, 3 in the morning right now, so <laughs> let's go ahead and keep on watching the video. Redbox. And I'll skip through this because I just told you guys. A little bit, and they let me. Brothers playing zombies. Me and my brother started, and, and then I, right after a DS. No, it was Christmas. I got a D. Getting a DS. No, it was Christmas. I got a DS 
with uh, I think it's Call of Duty Black Ops on the. D oh my gosh, dude! I remember that. So back in the day, if you guys, I don't. Not a lot of people even know this, but obviously a lot. You guys probably, whatever age you are, um, should know. Maybe you guys know about DSs. Um, I remember we had Black Black Ops. They had Black Ops One on DS, and you played zombies, and there's a zombies mode on it. And there's two maps that were free. I'm pretty sure it was House and Temple. I always played this map called Temple. And uh, Black Ops Zombies on DS is so hard. The first door is 5,000, the second one is 10,000. And the mystery box isn't, you don't get it until the next door. And like, the only gun you get is a M4, M14, maybe. And it was so hard. I think it was like one hit, you were knocked or something like that. It was so hard. But um, now that I have Black Ops 3 on my computer, Guys, be looking out for a video coming out soon, because I'm going to be playing the DS. Not not going to be playing the DS, but the map from Black Ops, the DS version, Temple, it was re somebody remastered it on a custom zombies map, and I'm going to be playing that in a future video, so get ready for that. Yes, and it is the worst on the DS. Like, they, have zo they even have zombies on the DS, but... And it's not it was good. Weird. Don't, don't, don't get it. It was weird because so it wasn't even their OG maps. There was no Kino, no Five. It was just House and Temple. After that, maps. one thing I bought, we got MW3, Modern Warfare. Modern Day. Warfare days. That was, gosh, I missed that. Modern Warfare at its prime was so awesome. You get destroyed in the voice chat, and that's how you. That's where. Boys became men. <laughs> just, just so you people, just so my viewers know, MW3 people that don't play Call of Duty, just, just say. And um, MW3 is really fun. Uh, I like, I like the survival mode thing. I always thought that was really cool. Um, uh, and then after that. Um, I don't know this is such an interesting story. It's not really, um, but if you guys are still watching, you guys are my real viewers. You know what? Everybody that logged out, I don't care. I still love you guys. Keep on subscribing, watching my videos, liking, hit that thumbs up. It's for you guys still. If you're watching through, if you're still watching, you're a champ, man. If you're still watching, I need to know. Go ahead and comment down below if you're still watching and leave a like, please. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Smash the subscribe button. Smash your device. Just kidding, don't do that. It's just, yeah, exaggeration. But, yeah, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And, uh, yeah, leave a like, guys. But it's not over. We're going to keep on watching this video. We're not going to watch the full thing because that would be a very long video. So let's just keep on watching. Anyways. Back to the and sorry, I'm gonna have to be reiterating what I'm saying because it's not that my the audio on this is ter it's not that good because I just talked really quiet because at the time my room was like so close to my parents' room and I was like so nervous that they were gonna watch walk in or something I don't know something like that but now I live down or now I'm downstairs so I don't really and if they do I don't really care they know I have a YouTube channel so that's fine. And then to that I got. Oh yeah, yeah. I got World at War, and um, me and my brother always. Yeah, I did a kind of weird uh, pattern, cause I got World at War. And, yeah, I got Black. I started on Black Ops One, then went over the MW Three, and then went all the way back to World at War, which is an older game. I think it was World at War was two thousand eight. I would have been. I don't know, I was really young, but yeah, I kind of went in a weird playing multiplayer pattern there all the playing time on World at War. And that's, multi World at War multiplayer is the best. I like World at War Zombies the best, and World at War multiplayer best, Not too. Not the best, but it's classic. And, yep. Um, I remember that night, I don't know why I keep on remembering this, but that same night, we were playing World at War, I learned how to tie my shoes. 
champ. You hear that, boy, guys? That same night, I was playing, I first played Black, or, sorry, I keep on saying Black Ops for some reason, because it's like the best series in Call of Duty, just saying. I said, that night I was playing World at War for the first time, I learned how to tie my shoes. That's an epic win if you see in my book. See, gaming makes you smarter. I wouldn't have ever tied my shoes if it wasn't for World at War. So if you, if you can't tie your shoes, just play World at War. It works every time. I'm going to forget and I just get on World at War and start tying my shoes. Like, no one's business, you know? Anyways, let's go. And I was, yeah, I learned to tie my shoes, which is awesome, man. Uh, and, yeah, that's about it, about Call of Duty, and then, oh, man, I remember Call of Duty Black Ops 2 come out, came out, everybody wanted it, it was the game to get. And yeah, Black Ops 2. When it came out, it was a different experience. You know, I think Black Ops 1 is still one of the best, better Call of Duty. Today, I would even say my list of all the Call of Duty, Call of Duty ones, I would say my favorite is Black Ops 3. Second favorite is Black Ops, the first one. Third favorite is Black Ops two and then fourth would be obviously bo4 because that game is horrible but anyway just keep when watching. i got it i was like this is awesome well no the bo4 is an okay game right it's just zombies that just messed up the whole game for me you know i'm a big zombies player and just because i'm not saying that i'm like popular or anything but i'm saying i love zombies but just just that that the zombie was horrible in BO4, that's just that's a big turn off for me when I was playing the Black Ops 4, so yeah. Now Call of Duty. I don't wanna be one of those haters. But Call of Duty kinda sucks. Michael I, I remember I remember being like this, uh, if you guys can hear that, I just said Call of Duty kinda sucks. That's the stupidest thing, you know. Now that I look I'm looking I don't know why I keep on doing this, but now that I'm looking back at it, I can I do remember that there was a time that I just, I was a like a Battlefield fanboy for no reason at all. I just liked it because it was realistic. I don't even know why. It's it's an okay game. Like Battlefield, I think Battlefield Four. That's what I really liked. It's an okay game, right? But I was just like, it, it was like it just any other game sucks compared to it. But I don't know. Black Ops is obviously better than that. So, I don't know, I just have weird opinions back then, but, you know, just ignore them. It's all futuristic stuff. It keep Call of Duty. Call, Black Ops 2 was far enough that you should get in uh, the future. Because Black Ops 2 felt like a mix of modern time. With Yeah, Black Ops 2 is a perfect mix of modern, it felt like modern, and a little bit of futuristic in there. A little bit of it, not too much, not not too much at all. It felt really good, but once you got Black Ops Three, Black Ops Three, I think that's perfect. Black Ops Three, it's a good mix. It's not, too, it is futuristic, but it's not too futuristic like Black Ops, like um, Am Am Advanced Warfare, where it just crosses the line. It's just in the middle. Black Ops Three is right in the middle, and after that, Black Ops Four. Black Ops Four, I don't know. It was it was a different thing. I don't remember Black Ops Four that much because I didn't really play it a lot. I do have it, but like I just said, the zombies just was a big turn off for me. Like futuristic guns, so that's what I liked about it. It's not fu too futuristic, and that's what I like about World at War and Black Ops. Yeah, I would say like I, I when I go back and play zombies custom maps, I always like the World War ones. I have like or World War uh, maps that have like those guns in them. I just love World War guns or World War One and Two guns. I just like those old guns, like the Thompson, the Car 98K. I just I don't know. They're just fun to use because maybe it's just a little bit of nostalgia. Well, in games obviously because I wasn't in World Wars obviously, but. Yeah. And that's about it in the video, but it's not I need to tell you guys, you guys are commenting all the time saying are you gonna do an other games in Call of Duty? 
Yes. It's funny because no one comments that. Like I said, I th it says. Um, I was gonna I was gonna do a different reaction, but I kind of scrapped that because it, it it just wasn't working. But and this other one that was like it was a video about a little bit about me, and for some reason I kept on I like it pretended like I had comments asking these questions. I was like, uh, this guy says, what's your favorite movie? And it was it's just me making up these comments. There's nobody commenting at this time. Um. I don't know why, it's just one of those weird things that I did when I was younger, but, yeah, it's good. I will, I will do other games, and right now, I want you to go to the comment section, right now, and tell me what game I should play, I'll give you some options, Midnight Club, MLB, I don't, I don't know, just give me some options, you know what? I gave them, like, an ultimatum. I gave the viewers, like, an ultimatum. I'm like, I said, uh, no, it wasn't an ultimatum, but it was something like that. I was like, go, to, I, was like I was like, go to the comments now and say what game you want me to play. I mean, I don't know. I, I wasn't even getting comments anyway, so I don't know why I was forcing the viewers to do that. I don't know. We'll just, you know what? Let's comment, you know? I gotta let my old self know. Comments are turned off. Why would I turn off comments? Who does that? If you turn off comments, you already know that you're just... I can't say the word, but you're a wussy. Along those lines. I think you all can guess, but... Come on, you gotta, like... I don't get a lot of um, criticism or hatred because... Uh, I'm not that big of a YouTuber, I guess, but I don't... I, sometimes I get on... I think some of my recreations, like Plant Coast, so I got some... Hate comments about well they weren't really hate they were just like this well I guess I don't know they're this coaster's trash and I'm like okay it's good I think it's con to me it's constructive criticism I take it well I'm not saying that I'm like the best at it. I'm just saying that like I I see it as constructive criticism and not just typing away just because you hate me and that actually helps whenever I'm making videos so just you know what I'm like you know what I'm gonna put a little bit more time in this so yeah. I love constructive criticism. Never mind, don't give me options. I'm just gonna play every game. So, you guys get all the access. So, all access. pretty cool. And I don't. Comment below if I should put an intro on my videos. And if I do, can you please give me like something, an intro creator or something? Because I don't know how to make it. Oh my gosh, I did. So, guys, I think I did do an intro. And see you later, guys. And hold up, hold up. Please don't forget to comment what you liked about this video and stuff I told you to comment about. Make sure to give that smash that thumb. Can you get that game? Once I get the um, get the. Well, I think. Okay, so I think, I just want to go back, because I, I think I was saying that uh, I should make an intro, and I'm pretty sure I did. Let's see if we can, I think if you, okay, I'm pretty sure I did do some sort of intro. I don't, I think I remember I did, but I don't think I... Uh, let's just try this one. I did make an intro, but I don't know if it was just an iMovie where I didn't post anything. We'll see. What am I doing in this video? Look, I'm making the corner for some reason. Hey, what am I doing, dude? going on? Guys, if I ever... If I ever make an intro like that again, where I... I'm like, here, let me give you an example. Oh! I didn't see you guys there. What, what are you doing here? Oh yeah, we're doing a video. If I ever do anything like that, I mean, I get why I did it, because I was a little bit younger, and that's... Gosh, dude, I shouldn't... That stuff is so cringy, but... If I ever do that... 
dude, like, just, I don't know, delete my account. Because <laughs> that is just stupid, dude. Like, okay, anyways, guys, that's going to be enough. <laughs> I really enjoy making these videos, guys, these reaction videos. If you have anything you want me to react to, I will do it. I love reacting to stuff. You know, in a way, I kind of want to make, uh, kind of make some reaction videos to other stuff, but I'm not trying to turn my account in one direction to where I'm just doing reaction videos. I'm trying to stick to, maybe just stick to games. That's what I'm trying to do, maybe. Um, uh, maybe. But, hopefully you guys like these. If you do, hit that like button. And I'll see you guys in the next one. This is Xbox 5, and I'll see you guys. And yeah, I'm going to show my editor. So what?